Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexei, and uh, I will talk about uh, uh, on my disk our product. Uh, we are trying to with this product. We are trying to cover quite an interesting model of uh, uh, using Nextcloud. Uh, we are trying to target an uh, normal people, normal user, users outside the enterprise and educational systems like this university, uh, which have uh, 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 locally stored data at home and maybe are trying to establish this and uh, have no such uh, technical skills like uh, we have. Uh, so we're trying to address uh, normal people. Uh, what is the traditional architecture of, uh, uh, of uh, use case that uh, Nextcloud supposed? You have a server and you have desktop clients running at, uh, at the user side, and you have synchronization. What is the primary purpose of a uh, server at all? When you want some things to be shared to anyone, you have to put it on a server. So this is uh, cloud service all about. So when you want something to, to be shared, you have to put it on a server. And then you share it with the next cloud. Uh, but if you want to provide a public service based on the next cloud, from the user point of view, it's not different from the Dropbox or Google Drive. It's the same. Uh, so we are trying to implement quite a different model, uh, providing next cloud server as, as an application as a service model while still keeping user data at user site, self-hosted. Uh, instead of synchronization, we have implemented our own protocol, which provides access through the net to uh, self-hosted data. And it looks like this. Uh, so the server just contains a virtual file system, which is ex actually has a mounted local file storages. Uh, uh, there is a stack. So we have separated this classical stack of, of the server by dividing it uh, on a server side, which is just an application with the virtual file system, and a user backend, which is running on a, on a user side, on a personal computer, on any operating system. It has some advantages, because uh, it is simple to establish, to, to, it's simple to run, uh, simple to set up. You don't have to, to worry about uh, security, uh, firewalls. Uh, uh, you don't have to set up a white uh, static IP, IP. You don't have to set up port forward on, on your uh, router. So it is user, really user friendly. Uh, but there is one problem. <laughs> if you turn off uh, your laptop or your PC, there is no, no more connections. There is no more connection to your st uh, storage. And uh, we have an idea, what if we put this client to dedicated hardware? And we had tried it. Last year I showed, I have shown uh, this uh, technology running on Raspberry Pi. We have tried it, it works. We have tried it on other hardwares. Uh, it is actually, uh, we port our client uh, to, the, to uh, build root based uh, custom firmware. Uh, it runs on ARM boards, on many ARM boards. And now and then we decided what, what if we make our own hardware? It's good opportunity to, to make 
something that uh, user will have at home, can buy it, very affordable, nice uh, device, very simple to use, really plug and play. And we did it. <laughs> uh, it looks like this. It's our pre-production prototype. It works. And, and everyone is invited uh, to our workshop. We will show how it works and how it stop. And uh, I want to invite my, my team here, uh, Ivan and Borat, to, to say them, thanks to them. Thank you. That's all. Uh, everyone is invited to our workshop. This is it.